Thanks, Brittany. Guys, you know, it's not that often that we have a rock band here on Top 3, you know, but let alone hard rock. We've got Supernova Remnant. They are an amazing band. They've been playing music for 10 years, all the way from Dallas, Texas. Guys, Yeehaw! thanks so much for being with us today. <laughs> <laughs> to give it to you. Yeah. That's right. We some, love our Texaners here uh, on Top 3. That's <laughs> there right. There we go. There we go, James. There um, we go. So you guys have a really interesting story. We're just happy you're even here today because both of you guys had a near-death uh, situation. Tell us a little bit about that, Robbie. In 2002, I flatlined over a drug overdose. Um, I worked my tail off for everything I ever wanted, the house and the car and all the, the status quo, and got really depressed after winning all these awards at my job. And the next thing you know, um, I started doing this drug called ICE, and eight months later, I was 132 pounds and, and, and dead. That's crazy. Lost my whole life, lost everything. I had to start my whole life over. And so, so you were telling us earlier about James, too, who also had a very similar situation where then the Lord sent you to help him out. After I got rededicated my life to the Lord and saved and sanctified and all that, and um, I reached out to him. I heard that he was about to die of kidney failure, and I didn't know the particulars. I just know that I was going to his house to pray with him because we've known each other since we were kids. And I didn't know the severity of how bad it was, but I got there, and uh, it, was, it was bad. I mean, he looked like he was already dead, but something was checking me obviously the lord was checking me and and i didn't buy into the words of the of the world i guess by telling me he was going to die because as we were talking something checked me in my spirit that he wasn't going to die he thought i was still maybe doing drugs because i was laughing and crying at the same time you know when the lord gives you that that vision of something that right. you know, you're hurt but then all of a sudden he gives you just a hairline of a vision of, of something that's about to happen and you start laughing because of the joy right yeah. and uh, i just couldn't believe it that I looked at him right in the eye and I said, I don't know, man. I think that you're going to live. I don't think you're going to die. Mm -hmm. mm. And so now 11 years later, you said he's been on dialysis for 11 years? Three times a week for, for 11 years. Yeah, it's been nothing morning, short of a, like, a miracle. About like 4 a.m. I got up after we were at NAM and slept three or four hours and then went in there. was a witness. I was able to give my book out. I was able to witness the people in the place. It's been a great thing like that. But, you know, like Robbie said, God works in mysterious yeah. ways. And when I was in the basement of the hospital fighting for my life those eight days, he spoke mm -hmm. to me Psalms 118, 17, which says, you will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. Wow. And that's the very word he gave our pastor son who was also delivered of leukemia. So we serve a God of miracles. Amen. And so we're standing by faith, even though we haven't mm -hmm. seen the full manifestation of it. But yeah. God has orchestrated all this, everything to do with Supernova Remnant, everything with us being here with you today. It's just incredible what the Lord is doing. And so like that scripture that you will live and not die and you will declare the word of the Lord, that's what you guys are doing right now in nightclubs. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, we played a lot of shows with the band Striper that, they became really popular on TBN, where the yellow and black, you know, they're, now they're back better than ever, chart number one on iTunes, and so we're going to be doing more shows with Striper. But we go back in these places where the broken and lost are, mm -hmm. to the point that sometimes after you've loaded your gear in the trailer, you put all that into it, and you see the audience, and you're like, why aren't there 5,000 people here? And there's like 40 maybe. On one of those nights, there was this one little kid, he was broken out by the back door, crying his eyes out, saying, when I heard your song, Surrender. I just lost it. I gave my life to Christ. And, you know, those moments really make it so meaningful when you go home and you realize it's not about you. So we're, we're out there doing it for sure. We're going to be doing it all over the place. And we thank our fans from all over the world now in these contests that we've been in. We've been winning awards, and we're nominated for the Best Christian Group in the Praise Factor Awards. Right now, uh, you can go on Facebook to Supernova Remnant Vote. That's our group page. Go to Supernova Remnant Vote. You can join there, and you'll find out everything you want to know. All right, so you guys are gonna kick us off with a song now? Yes, and it's gonna be You Are, so get ready. It's gonna be awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> 